back to my channel. Um, I created this nice glittery floral makeup look for you all and this took me like half an hour to do because I really wanted to take my time. But yeah, if you guys liked it, please give it a big thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel. Love you all. Bye. Okay, so I started off with a nice, clean, fresh, moisturized face. Um, I'm just going to get my cat ears just to put my hair out of my face. And I'm going to go get this serum that I got. And it's really good. And, and it's just like a primer. But it also hydrates your skin, which is good for preparation for your makeup. I'm just going to rub that all in. Key. Okay, so I got this like other, um, this gooey honey primer I got from Priceline and it's really good and it makes your face like really matte because my face is really oily but yeah I just put it all over my face just to like set it up for my foundation okay so I got my foundation and this is my first time trying this foundation so I was a bit nervous but it is amazing like it's so light it's literally feels like water on your skin and the coverage was really good and yeah it was it worked well for my skin so I'm just gonna I'm gonna drop that all over my face and just blend that in okay so I'm just going in with my flat brush and just blending my foundation into my skin Okay, so now my favorite part is highlighting slash concealing so I'm just getting just a light concealer and just putting that on the bridge of my nose um, under my eyes um, like on my forehead my eyelids just to prime my eyes for eyeshadow and my chin and then just blend it out with a damp beauty blender Okay, so now with a darker shade, just go contour your cheekbones, your nose, your forehead and your chin to have that sharp, nice contoured effect. Um, so now I'm just getting my like banana powder. You don't have to use banana powder, you can use like translucent powder, but um, I like to use banana powder. And just, just to set under my eyes and everywhere that I highlighted on my face. So I'm just going in with my Jaclyn Hill palette and just getting just nice translucent colours and just putting that like on my crease just to create some definition. So after I did my transition shade I'm just going to take any brush and just take off the excess um, setting powder that I put on my face. I don't like to leave my setting powder for long because, I don't know, it just feels like I look really washed out. So I just like to keep it on maybe for like two minutes and just take it off. So after I set my face, I'm just going to lightly contour my cheekbones, my hairline, my nose and my jawline. Okay, so going back with my palette, I'm taking this nice 
dark rose pink eyeshadow and just putting that in my crease. So now I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I'm taking the really nice pink fluorescent colour and just going to put that in my crease again because I feel like the Jaclyn Hill palette was good but it wasn't too, it wasn't pink enough. It came out like an orange colour so I'm going in with this palette and it worked so much better so yeah. Okay, so now I'm going in with some glitter. I purchased some glitter glue. Uh, I'm just going to put this glitter on my eyelid as if I'm doing a cut crease look. And it's a really, it's really nice. Like, look at that colour. Damn. So good. And it's really pigmented as well, which is good. And I like pigmented. So I was thinking about doing a short wing, but I wanted to be really dramatic and do a really long, thick cat eyeliner look. So after doing my eyeliner, I'm just gelling my eyebrows and I'm going to fill them in and they're just going to look so pretty. So after putting my eyelashes on, I'm just getting an eyeliner and just putting that on my waterline just to create a more smoky effect. Okay, so now I'm just setting my makeup with the setting spray and make sure that you put a lot of it and make sure you fan it out because if you don't fan it out, it becomes really sticky. Okay, so now I'm just going in with this highlighter and just putting that in the inner corners of my eyes. So now I'm going in with this nice cream highlighter and I'm just going to put that on my cheeks and the bridge of my nose, my chin and just blend that away. Okay, so now I'm going in with my Kylie highlighter and just putting more highlighter on. Okay, so I wanted to go for a nude pink look for my lips. So I started out with this nice hot pink and then I got like a brown color, which... I mixed with the previous lip color and then just blend it out and it becomes a really nice subtle nude pink look and I really was living for it. It looks so good. Look at it. So that comes to the end of this makeup tutorial if you guys liked it please give it a big thumbs up comment and subscribe to my channel i'm so happy because i reached over 4,000 subscribers and my aim is to get 5,000 by the end of this year and i really hope we can reach that if you guys keep sharing my youtube channel around and tell your friends all about it but yeah comment down below if you want me to do another makeup tutorial and just tell me what you want me to do and i'll try to do it but yeah, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for all of your support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.